Creating a workflow with Intersight Cloud Orchestrator is pretty straightforward. Start by clicking that Create Workflow button and then give it a name. Set any tags that are relevant to the workflow type that you're building. And then go ahead and save. It's always good to save as you go, uh, just so we don't forget. Uh, you want to click the Designer tab as your next step. And in this case, we are bringing in the API request that gets the current price of Bitcoin. So to do so, we'll want to configure the parameters of this, the input details, after we name the step. Under Inputs is where we can set the external target. That is the point that we're going to gather the information from. And most of the defaults here are what we want. Uh, so we're going to move on to the URL. And this is a relative URL to what you've defined in the target properties. Now we set the next input, um, which is required, or actually get required for our workflow, is the response parser. Now this API returns a number of values depending on the currency type and things. Uh, so we're going to input what's needed to get the US price in floating decimal. You'll want to follow the API's documentation to determine what you'll need to enter here. We're choosing the floating value instead of string because we want our conditional statement, which is coming next, uh, to understand and make a decision on the number that we get returned. I'm bringing in the conditional block. We have an opportunity to enter the decision branches you know, as well as the statement that the workflow will follow. Now this field is JavaScript based and honors most of the common decision logic available. In this case, we're setting it up to branch on a high or low value. Now, continuing to the next activity, we'll go ahead and locate the WebEx bot task that we created it earlier in the task video. And this will show us how we can leverage and reuse both the Cisco curated tasks as, or the ones that were curated by your organization. Uh, in particular, this task allows us to be notified via WebEx Teams if the Bitcoin price exceeds the defined threshold that we set up in the conditional statement. Once the parts are connected, uh, we're going to configure the inputs. You know, starting with the target for WebEx. Followed by the email address and the message contents. Saving this value, finishing the connection points, and rearranging the visual just so that we can see all the parts. After this, we'll save it again, and we have a successful workflow.